All right, moving on to subtraction of decimals. So similar to addition and some of the strategies, um, but obviously we're taking away, finding the difference instead of combining them. So the ones where we look at are going to be less than one. They will have some tenths, they will have hundredths, um, but they're all going to be less than one. So we have a table showing decimals represented by different colors. So how much can how can you determine how much more is shaded red than green? And then later we'll compare yellow and purple. So those I could use subtraction for because it's asking how much more. And if I'm ever trying to find how much more, how much less, taller, shorter, anything like that, I'm going to subtract to find it. Subtract. Sorry, press the wrong button. Try that again. Okay, so what equation could I use to represent how much more is shaded red than green? Well, I can take red minus green, so 4 tenths minus 2 tenths, because red is 4 tenths and green is 2 tenths. So we'll start by doing it on a number line. So on your notes, go ahead and write, we can represent subtraction, that's what I've written using, and then you can write a number line because that is one strategy we can use. So we start by marking what we know on our number line. So go ahead, do this with me. Mark four tenths and then mark two tenths. So there is two different ways. So I can either mark what I know and then find out how far apart they are, or I could start at my top one and just jump down that far. Either way will get me this answer to my subtraction problem. So this will talk about how far apart they are. So then if I see, okay, well, how jump, how far away are they? They're two tenths apart. So then I know my answer is two tenths. So what's the difference? We can see it here. They marked it. The difference is two tenths. And then there's a visual here for us. Two tenths is how far we had to go down. That's what we took away to get there. <clears throat> now, yellow versus purple. How much more is shaded yellow than purple? How could we write an equation? Well, I could take the yellow amount, subtract the purple amount. So 36 hundredths minus 4 hundredths equals Y, which is the letter they told me to use. We'll talk more about letters when we get to algebra, those variables, if you forget what those mean. So now we are going to use a decimal grid. So on your uh, notes, go ahead and write either a decimal grid or decimal grids, because we can also represent subtraction using those grids like we did with addition. It's a little different, um, but we can use grids to visualize. Again, you don't have to do it this way, but I do want you to at least do that at first to visualize, and then eventually we can move to a different strategy. But I at least want you to practice this strategy. So go ahead and mark 36 hundredths like they do. Three rows, that's 30. Six more is 36 hundredths. And now, instead of marking four more hundredths because that'd be adding let's watch how they take away four hundredths all right so you're just xing them out so however you mark on your paper maybe you could make a little slash maybe you put an x through maybe color them lighter if you color hard to begin with color lighter so you can x them out and see what is left because what is left what's the difference is 32 hundredths. So that is my answer to the subtraction because that's what I have after I cross off those four hundredths. So what does the difference mean? It means that 32 hundredths more is shaded yellow versus purple. So that's really all this lesson is, is the way to visualize subtraction. We'll go into other strategies we can use for subtraction in later lessons. Um, but for now, we'll just talk about the number lines, 
and the decimal group. So we'll do some practice together. So you have the grids and the number line on your paper, so you can actually draw it out and visualize. So 7 tenths minus 1 tenth, go ahead, shade it in and figure it out. All right, hopefully you got it. Come on, yeah. One, five. He was just being a little slow. Three, four, five, six, seven tenths. Now, I could either cross it out like that and say I'm ignoring that one, or I do have the ability to erase on my technology. So I could just erase the one tenth and then say, what do I have left? Well, I have six tenths left. So then I know that my answer is going to be six tenths. All right, go ahead and find nine hundredths minus two hundredths. All right, I know it might feel simple right now, but sometimes we start simple and then we'll get harder as we go, but it's good to have the practice with the simple numbers. So if I cross off those two, I'm left with seven hundredths. I left that there just for you. Because sometimes it is different than erasing, right? I'm not asking you to erase your things. You can just cross them off. Make sure you do write it correctly. Don't write 0.7 because that's a different number. Seven hundredths. All right, this one I am going to use my pen for time's sake. Go ahead and fill it in. 50, or click the right answer. Fill it in. Click the right answer. 54 hundredths minus 38 hundredths. All right, hopefully you got it. I have one, two, three, four, five. If it helps, you can always switch colors. Let's see if I can do it this time. Oh, now that I moved my face, I think that'll work. There we go. Because that might help you visualize and say, okay, I'm going to cross off those three. And I cross off one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. I just realized something. What did I forget to do? I forgot to do my 54. I know that's not quite the same color, but it's close. Oops. Click off. One, two, three, four. There we go. So now I can see what I have left. I have this whole row in the middle. I have two over here, three in that right column, right? The whole middle one, two here four here, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, plus 10, so 16 hundredths. It's like a puzzle. So, 16 hundredths. All right, let's do a few more. We'll do one more grid and then one number line. Just wanna make sure I'm maximizing our potential. All right, 25 hundredths minus 11 hundredths. Go ahead. All right, hope you got it. I'll color correctly this time. It just does show that we really got to be careful when we color that we're doing it accurately or else we're going to get it wrong. And that would not be good. All right, so now I'm going to cross off 11, cross off there and I cross off one from there. So I still have one in one whole row. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hundredths left. All right, now we'll do a number line, like I said. So I don't have a number line here, but I'll draw one. You have one on your chart too, or on your notes to use. So seven tenths minus two tenths. All right, hopefully you did draw, even if you didn't feel like you need it, it's good practice. So I'm just going to go three, point four, zero point five, six, and 0 0.7. All right, so I'm going to start at seven tenths. Now here are my two options. Either I can go down two tenths, 
jumped down two tenths and I'd say, oh, hey, I jumped down two tenths. I ended at five tenths. My other option is to go down to two tenths and see how far apart are they. It's like one, two, three, four, five tenths. They're five tenths apart. Either way will get me my same answer. Either way, five tenths is correct. So some of it is like, she had 10 cookies, she took away two, how many are left? Eight. Versus the plant was 10 inches, this plant was two inches, how far apart are they? Well, they're eight inches apart. So either way, you'll get the same answer. It's just sort of represents different problems in real life, okay? Let me know if you need help and good luck.